Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. So in this spread, we are going to do a Samhain spread. Now, Samhain is for witches, the new year. So really, it's a good time to set the intentions, to plant the seeds so that they can cultivate over the winter as we dream, as we sleep, as we manifest, and then they can come to fruition over the spring. So in this message, we're going to tap into what you need to release through this next year. What's going to be the biggest thing that you need to work through. Then we are going to tap into something that's going to shift, something that's going to change this year for you drastically. Okay. We're also going to tap into any messages from your ancestors, spirits, past loved ones. We'll also look at how to enhance your connection to spirit, your connection to source, so spiritual practice, things along those lines. The next card, the next placement is going to be a forecast for what's going to come to fruition if all of this takes place and what's to come after. I'll pull a few cards for advice. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. That's something that you're interested in. You're more than welcome in joining us. If you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And just a little tiny announcement while we're here. I am going to release my 2024 Moon Manifestation Journal for this upcoming year. Now, it's going to channel your full moon, new moon. We're going to look at the first quarter moon and the last quarter moon and how to utilize those energies to manifest our desires. And I'm going to break it down every step of the way. It's about 100 to 120 pages. I'm not exactly done writing it yet. Hopefully it doesn't go over 120, but we will see. I will have the copies available mid-November. It's in the process of just the final touches being added on at this point. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. So let's jump in. So let's dive right into Aries energy for 2024. Let's see what you need to see. Most important message here for Aries spirit. What do my Aries friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? 2024. Please and thank you. Three of Wands. The Death, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords, The Emperor, The Moon, Hermit, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles as the underlying energy something here that's coming to an end and a chapter that's closing out in your life. And I feel like this, you have known for some time that this needed to come to an end, but I feel like you were kind of putting it off in a sense, but also trying to make a plan of how you were going to handle this transition. To be honest with you, I feel like this is closing down a business or ending some sort of relationship, marriage, but long term. So like this is living arrangements, stuff like that. Okay. So let's just go through the motions. I do feel like you are making the right decision by walking away. I will say that right up front. You are headed towards more happiness, more joy, more peace. So let's just start from the very beginning, the three of wands. Okay, this is what's challenging you. 
feel like there is a need for you to make a plan. Um, some of you have been thinking about this for a while. With the Three of Wands, after you make the plan, it's time to take action. So that's not a time to just sit around and wait. It's like planning your next step, your next move. And I know this is a hard decision to make, but I do feel like currently in this position, in this business, in this career, you don't feel fulfilled. You aren't happy here. Maybe this is a relationship. However this is playing out for you, um, you are not happy here. Now, the, the strongest energy that's coming through is business, job, career, but it could pertain to relationship as well. So take it as it resonates. Now, something that's going to shift, this is going to come to an end. Whether this is something that's already transpiring right now, currently at this time for you, Aries, or this is something that's coming to an end in 2024, you know this needs to take place. Maybe just a little fearful of how. Okay. Nine of Wands energy. Trust the universe. Trust the process. And understand that if this person and you are always fighting, are always going back and forth, there's always anxiety, worry, fear. Those are all energy signatures of resistance. Message from spirit, a message from your ancestors, your guides, eight of cups. So it's time. It's time to let this go. It's time to walk away from this situation that is no longer serving you. Let's clarify the eight of cups, please, and thank you. King of Swords, King of Wands. Decisions, decisions. Do I want to stay with the practical, very mean, unkind boss? Or do I want to go with my passion, something that I'm passionate about? King of Wands. Do I want to be my own boss? Now, if this is pertaining to a relationship, this could be a decision between two people or them or you okay however it's resonating there is a decision that needs to be made here okay and it's not an easy one so how do you enhance your connection to spirit well you have to be honest with yourself about this Queen of Swords okay I do feel like this has been weighing heavy on your heart for some time. And even though it's not easy, it is going to be worth it in the long run. Okay? So take some time there. Four of Cups, judgment. Okay? Take as much time as you need. But understand that eventually with this death energy, the moon, all the majors that are coming out here, the longer you wait, the closer you are to a tower energy, okay? Because when this type of energy comes up, death energy, eight of cups, judgment, that is indicative of needing to walk away from something that is no longer serving you. Now, if you keep ignoring the signs from the universe that it's time to walk away, the universe will come in and pull the rug out from underneath you. This is your opportunity to make this decision on your own if that makes sense the emperor energy this is aries energy guys this is aries right here the major arcana for aries okay but this is also a leadership card this is you taking the lead this is you taking the lead in your life this could also be you starting your own business which is beautiful now yes there is a need to make a plan and to stick with the plan. Also to trust your intuition through this process. But I do feel like it's time to take action towards this. Now again, if this is a relationship, this is you taking your power back. Okay? 
I do feel a, a bigger lean towards business career than relationship. At this point in time, I do feel like there's a lot of confusion on what path you should choose, right? What should I do here? What I will always say with that is if there's any confusion, there's any uncertainty, you just have to tap into that intuitive sense, that connection to source. And sometimes maybe giving it to God is what's right up your alley. Now, how do I give it to God? I have a God box. I have a God box that I have in my closet. And I write out if I have any worries, fears, if I have any things that I want to manifest into my life, I put it all in that God box. It also is a place that you can go and, and see what you've overcome, what you've accomplished by looking at that. So what's to come? It's still up in the air. The moon energy is like things are still hidden, right? So this is still up in the air. It's going to determine what path you choose is going to determine the direction this goes. If you stay, if you continue down the path that you're on, it's going to be a repeat of the same cycle, Groundhog's Day. But if you lean into your own business, there's going to be a lot to learn from that. What do I feel like is coming out in this reading? Death energy. It's time to put an end to whatever you feel is holding you back that isn't on your path, that isn't in alignment with your purpose, and start living in your purpose, guys. What brings you joy? What makes you happy? And do more of that. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You just have to try. You just have to try Make a plan. Take action. Do I feel like this is more of a business reading? Yes. I feel like this is pertaining to a person who is ending a job that is draining on their energy and starting their own business. Could it be a relationship? Yeah. It could be a relationship that you're ending to live in your truth, to live in your power. However, I do feel like there is something amazing that you're going to build here in 2024, and I don't feel like that's a relationship. Create more value. Be bold and pinpoint your outlook. Don't be afraid to show your true colors because you are unique, and this will differentiate your values from the social norm. Lean into your gifts. Lean into what brings you joy or passion. Respect. There has been much help from people that you have received. Be grateful for this, my dear. Make the most of it. Make use of your time and all the resources. Look for more knowledge or appliance. Learn from the mistakes and also from others to build up more skills and confidence. Make the most of it. Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message. I definitely feel like this is pertaining more to business, starting your own business. Um, but it could also be living in your truth, living in your power. I do feel like it's time to make a plan and take action. And you are going to know better than I what that is in alignment with. If you live in your truth and you share your gift, you will get more of that in return. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.